Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Mather, and I'm here to talk about my article that was published in December's uh, Psychology Today Online uh, entitled The Benevolence of George H.W. Bush. And so uh, George H.W. Bush was known as a gentleman. He was renowned for his optimism and for his um, giving nature. Um, he ep epitomized what's called social reciprocity, which is where a person gives for the mutual benefit of that person and another individual. Um, Adam Grant has done research uh, that shows that people who give unselfishly um, tend to rise to the top of groups and organizations as their leaders, uh, and also as the most effective leaders. Uh, it turns out that taking constantly or failing to give uh, are not good um, tactics as far as uh, um, being a good leader. Um, George Bush was renowned for writing letters. Uh, he genuinely expressed his appreciation to other individuals, and he built a, a, a social network of goodwill um, by being authentic uh, in his expression of his feelings to other individuals through handwriting letters. Um, I received one of these letters in 1986 when I was a kid. Uh, I wrote to the vice president and asked him how his job was, uh, and uh, he wrote back. And I learned a valuable lesson from that, um, one of which is that there was never anything I'll do in my life that makes me um, too important to help other people. Um, Adam Grant and his research found that there's what's called a five-minute favor, and so individuals who um, will take the time to, to do a favor for another individual who asks for it, it's, it takes less than five minutes, um, um, end up accruing some of that goodwill um, towards them um, without any costs uh, of having to say no. Uh, so again, that, that research fits with some of that Adam Grant's work. So if you want to know more about the research that, that goes behind some of these arguments that, um, um, that I'm discussing, uh, again, look at the benevolence of George H.W. Bush in December Psychology Today Online. Uh, thank you very much.